Jersey at course, least this many. Oh wow! I'm one of them people that talk to people in the elevator just because it's small space. It's already awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, people gotta guess how many people are in the lift uh, in YouTube. Put your answers in the comment box below. Whoever gets the right answer gets like a <laughs> gift card or something. Whoever gets, if you get the answer correct, you get to spend the night with Francis. Yay! <laughs> Or, or Jody, Jody. Or, or, wow. are you are you gonna date with Jody? Okay, so yeah, you get a date with JD, and um, yeah, you get to pick the you get to pick the um, restaurant too. So guys, we're going to East Green today for a poetry meet up. And yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be at ten degrees, which is a building. Um, opposite East Croydon Station and um, I'm meeting up with Luna Legacy, a couple other poets, a couple rappers, a couple musicians and you'll see how it goes. Um, I'll be in the Sky Lounge on the 42nd or 43rd floor so there's going to be a couple views. Stay tuned in and we'll see how it goes. So this is 10 degrees and the Sky Lounge is up there. Oh, okay. No, it's cool, it's all good. I'll let I'll live in it for you, it's alright. Hey! What's up, Jody? You good? So, this is the Sky Lounge for Jody and Selena. By Space 2, produced by Space 2. Let them know, let them know where they can find you. Um, on the socials, Babs the original, uh -huh. and everything, Babs the original. Yeah. 
So let us forget them, so let us forget the yester years of sorrow and inspire the generations of tomorrow. For the morrow is brighter than dogs. What truly matters, love. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah. It's all about doing things I don't like doing. Exactly. Yeah, if you're going to make video content, you're going to have to do more than one take. That's I don't have to, I'm not, I try not to make video content for exactly the three. <laughs> Consigned to histories and time, we forget ancient, ardent crime, transpose cryptic rhymes to evoke our evolutionary desires. Thank you. Try to give you the words back. Right. Come on, you're a pro at this. Why are you acting like all shy or whatever? Take words. like 20 takes. <laughs> Leaps of passion like fires, as we take in the sky's view, inspired by the eyes of Shakur. Nice. Thank you. Next, who's number four? Who I don't know how to memorize it, but I'm going to try. Igniting the flames inside you. Tap into that legacy of mine. That gift from time through which you find. Whenever you're ready. Your hand resting on the page, thoughts leaping from the mind, synthesized by pens gliding effortlessly past the margin. Beautiful. One take. One, one take, take. Donny. No, one take, next? done. Oh my god. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> no pressure. Wars trigger minds, bring forth lies. The goal is peace of mind. Watch your message, speak your mind. Reject the darkness, find your guiding light. The fire from our foreheads stretches through the progress. This is not neutral ground. I see the halos in our minds. Suspended above the clouds, tap dancing on time, tracing trauma into new frames of thought that have never been treaded upon before. So let us forget the yesteryears of sorrow and inspire the generations of tomorrow. For the morrow is brighter than doves. What truly matters? Love. Interesting because when you look on YouTube, like there's a poem like I watch from Melissa Harris all the time, mm -hmm. and if it was actually available on a track, I would I would listen to it. But a lot of the times, poets we're not putting our stuff on, we're not putting our stuff on platform, putting it out really, properly. Yeah. If we do videos and low quality videos, we're not putting them. We're not put because the art is not available respected, we're not to create putting, visuals for people's uh, poetry tracks. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I am too, but I'm not, I'm not there yet, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm getting there. You can check out my music videos if you want to go. Okay. But I think also like you're know, with the poetry, I think just by labeling it in that genre of poetry, mm -hmm. people That's find it hard off. to take to, yeah, people switch off. Mm -hmm. But like if you hear like um, Melissa Harris or Melissa Harris, like people will find it hard to take to, yeah, people switch off. But like if you hear like um, the internet, right, mm -hmm. they have like a poetry piece in um, Gets Better With Time, yeah, yeah. lovely poem. Um, and the then obviously, album. yeah, common, common, yeah. Scott's book. Uh, Tank and the Bangers. Mm. Uh, uh, Tank yeah, does a Tank, Tank does a great job. She, she, she's more, more. She's. Nice well, I think she has a pro proper balance between music and poetry, mm. but she does a great blend. When yeah. she did uh, roller coasters that you could that you could listen to on mm. you know iTunes or Spotify, mm. she merged it properly. Like if you don't merge it properly, it's yeah. Silly breaks, Negro True. What was her name? Um, uh, Tank, uh, Tank and the Bangers. Yeah. Tank the Jack. Take it a bangers. Tell us from the bangers. The whole tiny bangers. Great NPR. Tell us from the bangers. That's the name of the group. Tank and the bangers. Tank and the bangers. Watch the whole and the bangers. B A N G A S. Instagram. And I'm just like, what? Shut up. What the fuck? I'm just like, yeah. I don't know.
I feel like you need to communicate with him. He don't talk to What's me, up? but he follows me, so it's fine. I, I really think poetry is close to the storytelling. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Because when it starts leaning too much into rapping, you lose the authenticity of it for the sake of trying to match the, the previous line. Yeah. That's, that's what I was saying earlier. Because I was like, I can't. They're two completely different things. Like, I can. You can I can. Tell I can. Rap, but yeah. rapping is more. I think slight. the best rap is a great story. Can be, but, but also, but, but, but there is a difference in style of writing rap to poetry. Like rap, a lot of the time you can get away with juxtaposing words, images. It's like little snapshots. Yes. You can get away with that in a way that you could do in poetry if it's your style. But they don't have but, much time. Like sixteen bars, and you're working with probably syllables. Everything is mathematics in that. So. Yeah, but it's, but it's music. All music's mathematics. Like it's even like writing a little piano. It, it is, but I feel like with poetry, Agreed. you can just like go off and like lose yourself. You know, with like no one Rapping is can be poetry, 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 but it's not poetry. It can be poetry. It can be poetry. But it's not in the same way. Yeah. I it's talk about poetry. Yeah. Poetry can be therapeutic. I don't think it should be put as therapy. I totally agree with that. A hundred million. Me and Anton could just yeah, sit here for that in the afternoon. I think. Say it again. You said it can as be. Poetry can be therapeutic, yeah. but it shouldn't be treated as poetry's yeah. therapy. 100%. Then, can I, then I, ask I think there's danger in that. But I think it. <laughs> I think it can be used though yeah. as a form of therapy because yeah, of the self reflective aspect. That's different. Of it. That's different. I'm, I'm saying it's sublimation. Therapy. It can be. When you say okay. poetry is therapy, you're saying something absolute. Yeah, I agree. I think because ultimately, then there's an irresponsibility that comes with it because you're, letting, you're telling people that it's the answer when actually they need access to resources such as counselling, therapy, yeah. potentially medication and diagnosis, etc. Not always. Not always. I, but I think... Because I feel like... I say you, take, you, if you take the most extreme example. <laughs> yeah. If you are schizophrenic okay. and somebody tells you yes. writing a poem is going to be your therapy, yeah. you are... That's it's correct. a disservice to that individual because they do need genuine exactly. Not medical Not necessarily though, help. because, for example, I've done... I've had situations where we've had workshops that have that have helped cure certain mental health conditions that people were suffering. Certain, with. but you would not, you could not say that for certain medical health conditions that require treatment. No, there are. There's a danger to say that writing can be the solution. It can be part of a sweeting. But even therapy, though, but even therapy is not is not a solution. I don't know. No, I don't, I know very few. I know very few people that go through therapy and end up healed. I know a lot of people that go through therapy and constantly, continuously go through therapy and never get into a, a stable state. Absolutely. Because there's aspect, there's so many gaps in but, in therapy but I would that say are that not. Therapists should never tell you that therapy is going to cure you. Yeah, it's not I'd solution, agree. It's and again, when I said therapy, I said, okay, I should have been more specific, as a suite of things. Yeah. But it's a distinction. But it's, but it's a distinction. Because I don't know, I just I, I feel strongly about that because there is this debate that rages in circles. <laughs> I know exactly what yeah. you're saying. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's completely exactly different. Right. And I'm not going to say what I'm saying. Don't. If it's done, don't get yourself cancelled out here, my friend. Before my career starts. I just think if it's done, if it's done properly, it can be used as. That's just my own personal opinion from what I've seen. I feel like it's done properly. No, but it can be, but then we're sort of agreeing in the sense that it's yeah. therapeutic. But I think it can be used as a form of therapy. Is it not? Yeah, but no, what's her? Well. Yeah, she was. Yeah. And she was kind of exploring it. And trying to make yeah. it as like a clinical solution. Yeah. yeah. But then the one thing I would say, so when I was saying, he's not, I like, guess I'm just seeing you guys get back and forth. He's not saying that it's not therapy. But when you say that therapy, I mean, when you say, it can be conclusively, used, but, I mean, like, it can but it's like when you say conclusively, poetry is therapy, um, you're suggesting that that's all people need. Um, so he's just saying it's poetry, um, so he's not saying it can't be therapy, but he's not saying it's the only therapy. Yeah. But the one thing I would say, but I think that, it should be a part of it because of the 
for example, the diagnosis process. So you come to the to the office to get therapy, and I have to determine, right? As a therapist, I have to determine um, is this is this mental? Is this is this spiritual? Which isn't even adding into it. Is this mental? Is this spiritual? Is this a clinical? Is this is this a, a mis a, a imbalance in your brain? What is that? And based upon the diagnosis, is there's a okay, we're gonna give you medication, or we're gonna sign you up for this or that. So even with therapy. You have a plethora of options that are based upon your diagnosis. So I'm just saying that I think that poetry should be a part of the, can be a part of the solution of one of the, just like medicine. You know what I mean? Depending upon the diagnosis. I don't think that poetry should have a purpose, and I think that the point in poetry and a lot of people is expression that it isn't functional and. That's what I think makes poetry poetry. But poetry shouldn't be a prescription or a diagnosis or a prog- or provide a prognosis, and it um, doesn't always have to do something. And I think that's the thing that separates it from prose, and it separates it from being an instructions manual or just a story or something because like po- that. Poetry is it's poetic. Exactly. It's about playing with language and it's finding about interesting. It's about expression as well. Right. But it's, it's a self-reflective. It's the, the, the poem drags you to a space of truth that you would not explore in, 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 in by way of other ways. I don't think poetry. Huh? I don't think that all people But it, it depends on But just like you could go to a therapist and lie to the therapist and they'd be like, what's wrong? Well, you know what I mean? If you I think in general, like whenever somebody tries to pro- offer a catch-all solution for anything related to mental health issues, somebody selling you something. Like, I think that's sort of it. Like, if somebody comes to you and says, you have this issue, I have this solution, this one solution that'll fix it. I think at that point, somebody's selling you something. I don't know if this is what Hamish is trying to say, but this is what I think, this is what I think he's trying to say. I think there is danger in saying to somebody, poetry is therapy. If you, the individual delivering that solution, do not have the experience, whether it's spiritual, or whether it's medical, whatever, to use that as a form to assist somebody. Whereas if you are a qualified therapist, you at least have had to have done some training about how you're going to engage with an individual who's experiencing medical Building on that, like Cecilia Nash, you got training to... is a problem. Because it's just repeating the that's the thing. Right. I mean, so I've never been to therapy, but I never asked any question. If you're writing a poem, you can literally face your demons or whatever it is. Yeah, you have to. Just like you can get there, but with therapy, you might get to a certain point and then you need more therapy. The system's probably set up, so you have to keep going and going and going. But also, the system, the, the people that. That it's just it's, re- it's repeating a problem. Like you said, you can have ten people that have the same traumatic experience, and that trauma replicate itself in ten different ways. So how are you saying that these ten people that are bipolar for ten different reasons are going to be diagnosed this way with this medication this way? And it's proving itself over time. People, the suicide rate has risen. It is not the 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 the, the, the counseling with that. Not to say that they haven't had some some you know positive effect for people but it's it's been more like a sterilizer just like they give medication and numb you it's not fixing the problem you can't even be fully honest with it there you know it's, it's like it is it's i'm just not a fan of modern day therapy evidently yeah i'm not a fan you know at all you know what i'm saying and, it, and it's it's for for a valid reason i do a lot i'm not a therapist but i do a lot of counseling i've done a lot of reading and just it, I just really think it's to be, you know, just, it's really ineffective. And I think it'd be healthy for us as, as a society to really explore new ways or update, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, and yeah, there's so much shit. And that's what my yeah. issue with humanity is too, is that there's no new thought. You know what I mean? I'm saying that. I, I would agree with that. So for example, this guy called John Kim, who's on Instagram and his handle is the angry therapist. And what's interesting is he trains a therapist and then the only way for him to really feel like he became effective was to sort of, like he said that he died, I, I literally I took my tie off and I threw the DSM out, the diagnostic tools, mm. and still was giving people therapy, but finding ways to sort of tailor it. Mm. So I'm not disagreeing there. But, and again, 
I'm not trying to be too literal when I'm saying, right, everyone should go to therapy, not use poetry. I'm saying that I am concerned about sometimes the way that people are saying, make you, you know, the phrase of poetry is therapy, yeah. which has been banded about, can be taken so literally to be taken as a solution. That's what I mean, it should be taken literally. You're saying it should be? Yeah. People should try But I think out. at the it same time, work. no, at the same time, with, with, when you're giving, when you're saying that, it, you need to be sure within yourself that you're saying something that you can that you can stand by, right? So, like for example, if if I was talking to somebody, I was going to suggest, hey, I think therapy help you. It would be because I would assess, I would talk to the person and assess, like, okay, um, is this is this seems like it's a, a spiritual issue? Because that's another thing that's not even added. Is this a spiritual issue? Is this a clinical thing where there's something loose in the mind? Literally, yeah. you know what I mean? Or is this just a few, is this some trauma that needs to be traced and addressed? You know what I mean? So I feel confident enough in myself to be able to, to say, hey, I think this might this might work for you. You should try it and see if it works. How many poets can you fit into an elevator? Yeah, we're going to, we're going to. Into a British elevator. We're going to answer this question. How many poets can you fit into a British elevator? How many? That's like, let's. Okay. <laughs> What we got? Look at it. You have to do it in the mirror. How yeah. many poets oh, okay, can you fit to a British... Oh wow! I want the people that talk to people in the elevator just because it's small space. It's already awkward. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, people got to guess how many people are in the lift uh, in YouTube. Put your answers in the comment box below. Um, like, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, whoever gets the right answer gets like a <laughs> gift card or something. Whoever gets, if you get the answer you get to spend the night with Francis. Yay! <laughs> Or, or, or you Jody, get dragged. Or, or, wow. you, or you get a date with Jody. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> you get a date, you get a date with JD and um, you get to pick the you get to pick the um, restaurant too. White chocolate. Tickets. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, group hug. Good do a group hug. I'm gonna film a group hug. So it's all about the group hugs, man. Hugs is therapy. <laughs> Hugs can be therapeutic, <laughs> not therapy. Oh, sorry. Hugs are free as well. I didn't mean that, but no, no, I didn't either, man. I no, but I like that we could get into it. So we out um, um, at the 10 degrees, there was a sick time, Price on the way out, see so peace, oh, obviously make sure you catch us at any poetry events.